Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Views. Today I have a beer from uh, Pollyanna Brewing Company out of Lamont, Illinois. Um, I think I might have had one or two things from them like a couple years ago that someone from Chicago sent to me in some like beer contest that I won. But I honestly don't remember if I have anything from them or not. I know I haven't done any reviews for them on this channel. Um... Because, like I said, if I have had them, it's been a little while. Uh, but this beer, you can see here, it's on this, like, fake kin, uh, Kit Kat thing. It's called uh, Fun Size Milk Stout, 7% ABV. Um, it's really weird. Like, here it says bourbon barrel-aged toasted marshmallow. So, I don't know if it says that because they want those to be the most... Uh, predominant things that stand out why someone might buy it but if you look at the really small writing at the bottom here it says milk stout aged in bourbon barrels with toasted marshmallow so i get that but then it also says peanut chocolate flavor which i don't know what that is i don't know why it doesn't say chocolate the chocolate flavor but then it also says cocoa nib so that kind of worries me that there's like fake hershey syrup in it vanilla bean and sea salt um sea salt's kind of strange too uh, yeah, and it, I also am generally weary about something that's in bourbon barrels if it's only like 7% alcohol. Uh, I mean, 7 might be okay. Sometimes people barrel each like a 5% stout, and it usually, it just, the, the stout can't hold up to the barrels, and it just end up, ends up tasting like watery bourbon. Uh, I'm guessing that won't be the case with this because of all the other stuff in it, but I just have no idea what what it's going to be like with all that stuff in it being barrel aged and only being seven percent this could potentially be a huge mess or it could be something really good i have no idea so i'm going to crack it open and see what we got that's why we uh <coughs> do these reviews right? all So I will say right off the bat, I wasn't uh, too enticed by this because it almost poured like a, a cola color. Um, it's not completely like black uh, with a tan head. It looked like it was really carbonated and faded away pretty quickly. Um, it's funny that it said on that thing chocolate flavor because... Honestly, the biggest thing that I smell is, like, Hershey syrup. I mean, it tastes like, or it smells like Hershey syrup. Uh, it kind of smells like if you took Hershey syrup and then just, like, threw a splash of cheap whiskey in it. That's kind of what I'm getting, because I am getting the bourbon, but uh, it's pretty mild, and I'm definitely getting the, the chocolate syrup aroma. Oh, that's bad. That is not good. That is really not good. Um, yeah, it's not good. So... Uh, up front, you do get a little bit of a bourbon alcohol kick, um, and then it falls into this really artificial chocolate, which even that might be okay, but then it's like metallic and dark fruity in just a weird off flavor way, um, and it's like basically water, it's not, it has like no body to it at all. In the vanilla, there is some vanilla in it too, but it seems really fake. Uh, I 
Honestly, even if I wasn't getting that like metallic dark fruit off flavor, I might still call this a dump because it's just really astringent and fake chocolate and fake vanilla. Um, but if you're taking that, a beer that can't handle those additives or barrel, and then it's also not even like a cleanly brewed beer, that just makes it not good at all. Uh, yeah, this one's gonna be a dump for me, unfortunately. Uh, um, I'm not gonna finish this. I really don't want to drink any more of it. I think I got enough out of it to get us to give a somewhat proper description of what it's supposed to be. Uh, with all that stuff in it and it being only seven percent in barrel age, I kind of had a, a bad feeling about this one, but it's even worse than I was expecting. Um, because you can still make a pretty solid, decent sized beer at seven percent, but that's not what this is. Uh, you know, this is an example of a brewery that's trying to make, like, some big edge. Oh, I guess it's not big because it's only 7%, so that in and of itself is kind of stupid, but they're trying to get in on the craze, but they can't even make a solid base beer to hold up the other stuff that they're, <laughs> excuse me, that they're throwing into it. Um, and this is the kind of stuff that I really don't like. Like, Angry Chair I don't like too much because I think it's overly sweet, but it at least doesn't have, like, brewing flaws in it. And I get that a lot of people like the really sweet stuff, but this, like, you have to be able to make a good base beer before you start adding that stuff to it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, this this is a dump for me. I'm definitely not going to drink any more of this. Um, you know, it's only one beer from them that I know of that I've had and maybe I have had other ones obviously I didn't remember enough if they, they were good uh, so I wouldn't necessarily shy away from trying it again but I'm not going to go out of my way to buy it given this example so that's all I got on this one um, please like comment subscribe let me know what you think and I look forward to doing the next one thanks